watching this. If someone comes to me and says, I am a Christian. Because to me, if you look it up on dictionary.com, a Christian is someone who believes in false Christ. Muslims you look, say that. They believe they existed and great prophet and follows teachings. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, I haven't met Muslims who do that. Uh, I have. I've okay. talked to North of, but, but I've never met a Muslim who said I'm a Christian. You're saying that Muslims I'm saying, are not Christians because they don't really follow Christ. No, because they don't say it, claim to be a Christian. Well, I've talked to Saudi Arabian exchange students at the North Gate of Temple Square, and, and they, they say, say they love Jesus, they love Esau, no, no. and they say they're a Christian. No, they don't have to say that. That's it, what I'm saying. But in principle, if they I did, saying, if they did, would that be okay? A Christian is someone who claims to believe in God, Christ, Muslims. and call themselves Christians. A Christian has to call themselves Christians. Christians didn't call themselves Christians originally. That's true, but that, that nickname came across very early. Right, but were Christians before that Christians? So somebody can be a Christian without self-identifying as a Christian, right? What's the criteria for being a Christian? Then? What you're saying is the criteria of a Christian is to believe what you believe. In, in the essentials, basis. yeah. So what is your criteria? My, I don't question someone. If you say you're a Christian, I'm not going to disagree with you. I'm not going to argue and say I don't think you're a Christian. I mean, I, I don't know if you've noticed this, but never once did I say you're not a Christian. Bruce McConkie. Because I don't think that's a Christian thing. You think Bruce McConkie was acting Christian when he said that we were part of a uh, false Christian apostate movement? Being Christian and being a, being, being, believing in correctly are two different things. You can be a Christian, and I can say some of your beliefs are incorrect. Some of your beliefs that you say are secondary Are there beliefs. any essential beliefs to being a Christian? Any. Any essential belief to being a Christian? I'm not going to call someone not a Christian. Can I say that Jesus Christ did not resurrect from the dead and rightly be called a Christian? Can I, I'm sorry, can I rightly call myself a Christian if I say it's Jesus Christ is not risen from the dead? If your belief says that's what you believe Christ is, then sure you can be a Christian. Why shouldn't you? So just be clear, if I say Jesus is not divine, if I say Jesus did not resurrect from the dead, if I say, uh, like the Gnostics say, that Jesus didn't come in a body of flesh, he wasn't resurrected body of flesh, if, so you if believe I, the Gnostics were not Christian? Absolutely not Christian. If I affirm all... So who did they believe in? If I affirm all the things... Who did they believe in? Uh, an imaginary Jesus. Right? See, that's where we differ. I think people can have many concepts of God. True and false. I think, when all come first come to themselves, do you think the Muslims have any truth? I think Scientologists have truth. I think Satanists have truth. Okay. But do you think Muslims have truth? Because they came from the same seed of Abraham. I think they. What did Jesus say about for those who reject the Son? Those who do not have the Son do not have the Father. If you if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your so sins. So you think that I've rejected Christ? I can give you reasons for that. Yeah, but you, I, I, yes, no question. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. G given what I know, little of what I know about you today, but see, I find assuming, that sad. assuming you believe what the Gaudius Church believes, I believe that I find that very sad that you would judge someone that harshly because they have a different belief than you. Can I give you a precedent real quickly before you leave? First John, uh, first, second, third John, right? First John. Teaches and there's two ways to know. Hold on, hold on. But that's irrelevant. Well, to me, let's, that see. Is very let's see. Let's see. On Christ's life. Let's let. Let's hear it out. So that I don't think Christ ever went to people and would just. I mean, he did. He trashed the fat Sadducees and Pharisees, but I don't think he ever said that they didn't believe. Is First John relevant to this? I don't know. So real quickly, I can do it in 20 seconds. First John teaches that there's two ways to know if somebody was bo truly born of God. Right. First John gives us two tests: behavior and doctrine. If you, if somebody does not. Uh, in, a, in a basic way, live the commandments. If somebody claims to have no sin, if somebody uh, claims to ha uh, have Jesus as the, uh, to abide in Christ, but they don't abide in Christ, First John says harshly, they are of the devil. The second test is the doctrinal test, and attacking the proto gnostics, saying that Jesus Christ did not come in the flesh. First John says they are of the devil. So I'm going to ask you this question: Was it given First John? Am I okay? Looking at somebody that First John says is of the devil, a Gnostic who says Jesus did not come in the flesh, am I legitimate in it saying that person who is of the devil is not a Christian? Can you be a Christian and be of the devil? I, like I said before, if someone says they're a Christian, I'm not going to question. Even if they're, even if they're, even if they're according to the standard of First John of the devil. So let me ask you a question. Someone's in prison. Let's say someone's in prison for mass murder, and at the very end of their life they come to know God and they change. Are they Christian? Absolutely. If they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, call upon Your him. way. Uh, if my way means crying out like a little child to the Lord Jesus Christ, the forgiveness of sins like the thief on the cross. Yeah, absolutely.
Now, I would agree with, I would disagree with Spencer Kimball, who said there's no deathbed confession, there's no salvation for the thief on the cross. I think that because of the nature of salvation, if you take all your crud inside, all your sin, all your guilt, all your past. Okay, I'm gonna go. I gotta run. Hey, was it nice meeting you?